one of the biggest mysteries in archaeology happened toward the end of the 13th century here in southwestern Colorado. These spectacular villages built along the edges of cliffs are what remain of an ancient population that simply vanished. For decades, Archaeologists have been trying to decipher why these people abruptly abandoned their homes and what became of them. Known now as the Ancestral Pueblo, these prehistoric farmers settled in the Four Corners area of the United States around 600 AD, and they thrived there for nearly seven centuries. Around 1200, they started building villages and caves along the face of cliffs. Some of the biggest and best preserved of these dwellings are found in Mesa Verde National Park in Colorado, which draws a half million visitors a year who come to marvel at these precariously placed homes. Archaeologist Donna Glowacki of Notre Dame University is one of the researchers investigating what happened to the people who built these villages as well as why they were built in the first place. When people start moving into these alcoves, it's not that long after a really very difficult drought period. And actually, the alcoves are somewhat closer to some of the major water sources that people had in this area. It's also a little bit difficult to get to them, and so there's some protection. Uh, there's protection against the elements and the wind, but there's also protection against other people. Studies of skeletons from across this region show that rates of violence were increasing around that time and architectural evidence indicates that Pueblo society may have been undergoing other stresses. At a site called Spruce Tree House, Glowacki has found that some of the buildings were damaged and remodeled, suggesting a change in ownership. By the time you get to the end of the 1200s, you have a smaller population, but you also have increasing stresses from the increasing conflict and violence that's happening in the region, as well as uh, the drought um, that ultimately cause um, Pueblo people to want to leave and, and move. The combination of stresses in the mid to late 1200s was too much for the ancestral Pueblo, so they left. Many of them settled to the south in New Mexico, where they rebuilt their society and their descendants continue to live today. Although that happened so long ago, the forces that made them leave political unrest, social upheaval, violence, climate change, all those seem so familiar today. I think there's a lot of uh, important lessons for us to learn by studying the past and studying how Pueblo people, um, you know, dealt with the, the situations that they had because they were able to overcome a lot, substantially change culturally, uh, and continue today. <laughs>